Well, a high-profile resignation in Ottawa today. International Development Minister Bev Oda is quitting federal politics. The announcement came as a surprise, but it had been highly speculated after some high-profile gaffes. Our senior correspondent, Terry Malewski, has more on that tonight. Terry. Well, Diana, with a summer cabinet shuffle looming, Bev Oda was deemed highly likely to jump or be pushed. Both she and the Prime Minister say she jumped, but the fact is she embarrassed the government twice, and folks in her riding do not seem dismayed by her departure. Well, she's a bit of an embarrassment uh, to the government and to the people that she represents. Bev Oda, she's uh, leaving politics. Uh, she did that thing where she change that form that said not I apologize. Indeed, Bev Oda did have to apologize for the not affair, by. the tale of a document approving a grant to a charity which Oda signed after a not was inserted to reverse its meaning and kill the grant. But then Oda told a committee that she had no clue how the not got there. You're the one that wrote the not. I well, did not say I was the one that wrote the not. Well, who did that? I do not know. But eventually, Oda had to admit the knot was her idea. The knot was inserted at my direction. Oda survived, but ran into trouble again at the Savoy Hotel in London, England. She switched from another five-star hotel to the much pricier Savoy, then billed taxpayers for a $16 orange juice, plus limo rides back to a conference at the hotel where she was booked to start with. Isn't someone over there embarrassed by her behavior? This time, the apology came quickly. I have repaid the cost associated with changing the hotels, and I unreservedly apologize. After that, little was heard from Oda until a written statement today saying she advised the Prime Minister two weeks ago that she will be stepping down effective on July 31st, 2012. Harper's own statement said, I would like to thank Bev Oda for her hard work and dedication and for her many accomplishments in the ministry. It will be a loss for uh, Canada on the world stage in terms of the ability of her to deliver good leadership for us. The opposition was not so kind. She has not been an effective cabinet minister. She has not respected accountability and ethics. The only people who are sad today is the owner of the Five Stars Hotel and uh, the owner of, uh, of Limo because uh, they lost a, a major client. The Canadian Taxpayers Federation was not very kind either, noting that after just eight years as an MP, Bev Oda will collect a pension of $52,000 a year. Enough, it adds, to buy 43,000 glasses of $16 orange juice. Diana. Thanks, Terry. Terry Molesky in Ottawa.